Ion Jack. This is a 2017 Cadillac ATS 2.0 Turbo. Let me give you a quick detail about doing the crank position sensor and most likely to the starter in the future, knock sensor because they're all in the same area. This is your intake manifold right here or plenum with the throttle body all together. Now taking this intake off, you don't have to fight this shell, remove this shell from these clips. I was trying to do that first. Let me take my screwdriver off. You don't have to do that. Just focus on the bolt. Take all these bolts off, right? There's another one over here. See that? You cannot see that one when it's on the engine. There's another one over here. Yeah. Anyway, so we got one, two, three, four, five bolts. Now, when you do that, you think you don't know you're not done. Of course, you got a lot of wire harness going in these clips and stuff like that, right? The other part is on one more bolt down here. See that bolt down here? You cannot see that bolt. Look at uh, this. Uh, go, go away. Go away. I'm making, I'm making my video. Go no, away. I see it. Go throw it away. Sorry for that. No. Go away, guys. I'm making a quick video, please. This bolt right here, you cannot see and most likely cannot feel. But then do make a tools for you to get to it. See that area right here? Yeah, so your tools, if you know exactly what you're aiming for, for example, since I already done the job, you'll see this screw right here, right? Most like a 10 millimeter bottle holding something over here. Now just aim for that, but slightly on the left of it, you'll get right to that bolt when you're using your extension. For example, extension, you know, not too long like this, but most likely this size long, right? Let's say I'm using this 13 millimeter right here. Extension right here. And you can just aim. I hate this extension because I don't hold the socket. But let's say we have a socket on this bad boy. Yeah, you want to come down to that bolt if you can. I don't know if you can. This bolt right here. This hole right here. So you can. Because it's the, the, uh, the bracket for the motor mount will be bolted in this two hole, right? Which means you still have room to get to that bolt without taking your motor mount off. So for me, I had to do it because my first time doing this crank sensor. Um, I have to remove, I went through the other direction, take the starter off, get into this bolt right here, pin in the neck, hard to do it. So I recommend you do the intake, come to the intake, don't mess with the starter, leave the starter alone, right? If that starter's in place right, right there, right, you can still get to your bolt, your 10 millimeter crank sensor, see it right there? So, by taking this intake manifold up from the top five bolts, and you get one more bolt right down here, and as I say, you can just aim to, from this thing right here, just aim a little bit over on the left side of it, you can get to your bolt. And these are 10 millimeter bolts, all right? 10 millimeter holding them in place. Those are your knock sensors right here, both knock sensors. Your crank sensor, if you can get them from the dealership and do all one shot right now, it's the best because then sensor go bad, you're back to this big job again. That's the oil pressure switch. You know, it's not leaking oil, so I'm gonna put my starter back together right now. Hook up this bad boy tonight. You know, that's about it. Iron Jack.